everybody, I am Greg Davis. Come, take my hand and run as I guide you through the giddy pleasure fields of Taskmaster. <laughs> Forget about all the bad things in life. Let's rip off our shirts, hold each other tightly and work up a sweat as we glide through my land. <laughs> <laughs> the five contestants competing for this top-notch trophy are Ian Sterling! <laughs> Lou Sanders, Paul Sinha, and Sean Gibson. And look what the cat dragged in a scruffy, lice infested baby rat. <laughs> it's <laughs> little Alex Hall! <laughs> Hello, are you okay, Alex? I'm okay. I am okay. You know I get so hot because of my admin, but today I've got the wristbands and the ankle bands. So they will just collect the moisture throughout the evening. And I will be better for it. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, can we have the prize task, please? <laughs> yes. Uh, this week, it really is the prize task, because they've been asked to bring in the best present for a doctor. Paul, welcome to episode number four. Hello. We're starting with you, I presume, because you did once be a doctor. <laughs> I have a qualified GP, and the worst thing about being a chaser and a GP is being on a flight and someone falling ill and somebody saying, is there a doctor on the plane? So the best gift that you can give to a doctor is something to stop him from being bothered by the general public. Here we go. There it is. <laughs> is that you? That is absolutely me. Well, you've got about ten years younger. Just... You should do that. <laughs> I mean, she's right, it really has given you a lift. Uh, and if I do look like that on a plane, people will be looking at me, but not with hope. <laughs> OK. All right, Greg? So it's very much a present mm. to himself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who's next? OK, next up, uh, Joe. Joe. Uh, just best present to give anyone a BMX. <laughs> <laughs> um, BMX is a call. Tick. Doctors are, are, cool. are cool as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why shouldn't they have some downtime? Why shouldn't they have some downtime? Yeah. And taking a few leaps and skids and. Um... <laughs> and I'm beginning to think this isn't your BMX because you don't know enough BMX terms. I know the term wheel. <laughs> <laughs> what does BMX stand for, John? It stands for bicycle, my excellent bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> I believe. That haunting poem. <laughs> Who's next? Uh, uh, next up. Ian Sterling. I went to university and I met medic students and realised that they're the biggest bunch of alcoholic maniacs. <laughs> <laughs> so I decided to get the doctor a big sort of huge night out kit. Yes, yeah, so here we are. A okay. big night out kit. Yeah? Oh, OK. <laughs> Glow sticks. UK. If anyone remembers Carnage UK from university, congratulations on your tutu. <laughs> I don't, know what, I don't know what Carnage is. It's where you obviously. go to different pubs and then drink until you are sad. <laughs> OK. Yes, very lovely. Who's next? Lou, I think, probably. Just a classic case of a herb garden and a bottle of whiskey. For, there it is. For the doctor. Herb garden and a bottle of whiskey. <laughs> Ian's already got the doctor's shit faced. Yeah. So well, what are you bringing the, with the herbs? This is for the older doctor. You know, they're one year off being a consultant, maybe. It really is the whole life I've taken into account, from garden to kitchen to bedroom. <laughs> to uh, bedroom? Whiskey's for the bedroom. We all know that. <laughs> <laughs> How have you been doing it? <laughs> I use the herbs. Oh. <laughs> it's the first time ever. I, I can't pick who's going to go last. <laughs> well, so, what, so what, Sean? Sean? You know, if you go to McDonald's, <laughs> <laughs> that people have a little rating system on the little shirt. Yeah. Well, maybe doctors should have a little star system. OK. This is Sean. This, this would be me if I was a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> If a doctor came to you with I'm fab at jabs, yeah. on their buds, would you like that? Yes, I would. I'd be very uh, confident in their ability. I'm fine at rhyme. Could be no one. <laughs> I think it's got to be medical, though. Yeah, OK. <laughs> After your vasectomy, you'll be really pleased with me. Very you nice. need to think about it. <laughs> but, yeah. Well, there we go, all five. 
Oh, man. Can I be impertinent if you're having trouble? Yeah. Uh, I am a doctor, so I'm in a good position to judge. Yeah. Ian's one isn't necessary. You're basically accusing doctors of being binge drinkers when what they actually are are functioning alcoholics, which is... <laughs> <laughs> the one that I'd most like all of that is the BMX, because it would just take you... You didn't even say yes. you're on one! <laughs> <laughs> Sabotage everyone else and not even give yourself the fight. Who does that? <laughs> That's like running the 100 metres, tripping everyone up and then picking some and throwing them over the finish line. <laughs> not everyone's as dysfunctionally competitive as you, Ian. Oh. <laughs> well, I wasn't until bloody you came along. I like it when real rows start. I know you do. Yeah, yeah. and do you know what I'm going to do? Just to pour petrol on the fire, <laughs> I'm going to put them both last. Oh. <laughs> that was a great race. Right. Yeah. OK, so Ian and Paul both with one point. Yeah, that's what? right. And I'm standing by it, okay. and I don't mind telling you, I feel a bit giddy. <laughs> <laughs> and, and get this, I'm not going to give anyone two points. I'm going to jump up to three oh, points. No. <laughs> and I, I'm going to give it the next one, because I know doctors like getting drunk. You've established that. Yes, because and that's why I should be above him. Yeah, well, I would have given you an extra two points if you put some lovely herbs with it. Thank you. Two points to Lou. <laughs> And I'm putting Joe, I'm giving him four points... For the BMX. Because, be, ..just because I want to go on a BMX. I don't think Joe's ever been on a BMX. No, I don't well, know what I BMX want one, so I'm going to give him four points. Four points to Joe. And the winner, who doesn't like a lovely badge saying you've been a good boy? Sean Good. Sean Good. Sean Good. <laughs> <laughs> here we go, then. You want the first task? Yeah. OK, here we go. This one is absolutely toilet. Get ready. <laughs> Hello, Sean. Hello. Here we are. Hiya. Do you mind doing that wave again? Oh, absolutely, no, yeah. I, just because I didn't understand it. it was oh, OK. I'll, um, yeah, OK. Just, no, uh, it's just more of it's just a simple, simple wave. Just, hello. <laughs> Get this lure all through the toilet seat. You may not lower the toilet seat. <laughs> oh, there's the toilet seat. First this wins. Time starts now. The what? <laughs> what toilet seat? What am I missing? Is this a search for a toilet seat? <laughs> Very straightforward. I think we should get on with it. Crack on with it. OK, just get the loo roll through the toilet seat. That's it. Yes, please. We all saw it. Here's Paul and Ian. Get this loo roll through the toilet seat. You may not lower the toilet seat. Lower. I can't lower it at all. That's what it says. Oh! oh what an idiot. <laughs> Get this little roll. Oh, you stupid idiot. <laughs> what, what are you doing in? Getting the loo roll for the toilet seat. OK. There's a toilet seat inside. OK. Am I allowed to use that? All the information's on the task. <laughs> this is the toilet paper. Right. The loo roll's the, the... this thing, isn't it? This is the loo roll. OK, Ian. <laughs> what are you doing, Paul? I'm getting the loo roll through the toilet seat without lowering the toilet seat. <laughs> <laughs> through the toilet seat? Boom. Double toilet. Done. OK, thank you, Ian. Get the loo roll. I don't... I know, I'm going to stick with this. This is the loo roll and it's through the toilet seat. This reminds me of being at school. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. Thank you. <laughs> Can I just say very quickly, Paul put the paper through the toilet seat, which was the only bit that Ian said wasn't the <laughs> loo. <laughs> but will you say that he put the paper through the toilet seat? But did he? Because yeah. it, what I saw was a man painstakingly pushing loo roll behind the toilet seat. <laughs> And you said halfway through, I wrote this one down, it reminds me of school. <laughs> Detention was very unusual punishment at school. <laughs> I sort of think of the toilet roll as the whole thing, do you? Yeah, cos it is. No. <laughs> no. Oh, we are not... Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. Because there's the roll. Yeah. If you said, can you nip out and get some loo roll, and you came back with a load of those... <laughs> I would go... I would go... Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I would apologise for not using the correct terminology. And I, and okay. I would use those cardboard rolls to wipe my bum as a protest. <laughs> Look, I will unravel this afterwards. OK. So to speak. <laughs> right, it's the end of part one, my friends. <laughs> Do with it what you will, and we'll see you in part two. Bye-bye. <laughs> Hello! Welcome back to part two of Taskmaster. Alex, uh, you look like you've been a very naughty boy. Yes, Greg, I'm afraid to say that before the break, I left the toilet seat up in the air in the garden. <laughs> the task at hand is simply to get the toilet roll through the toilet seat. Ian and Paul got their hands dirty with the indoor toilet. How will the rest do? We're going to see all three right now. Ah. I see. Right, here we go. <laughs> well, even if I stand on that, I'm not going to reach that. No. I might be closer. You'll have to help me. <laughs> Easy. So easy. <laughs> ah! <laughs> okay. It's the end. Right. Right through. That's unlucky. <laughs> oh, God, I don't like a bad carry on pills. Is this on a timer, you say? <laughs> yeah, fastest wins, this one. <laughs> okay. Here we go. <laughs> oh, careful. OK, I'm one step closer. Up we go. Thank you. Here we go. Thank you. Three. Right. Watch your eyes. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. OK. It went through. Yes. Does that count? Yes, I stopped the clock. It went through. <laughs> Which way now? We're doing that again. Oh. Successful. Really successful. Did Lou, Lou didn't get all of the paper through. And I'll come on to my definition <laughs> of a toilet roll in a minute. Right. No, strands <laughs> fell off. Strands Strips fell away. And strands. <laughs> Got the whole roll through. One man did. One man did. Everyone did. Everyone. Everyone did apart from Paul. <laughs> <laughs> the supple Joe Thomas got his whole roll through. He's so yeah. supple. <laughs> Let me just say what I'm going to do. I'm not going to get into a discussion about what constitutes a toilet roll. My feeling is that it was implicit that the whole thing should go through, both the cardboard tube and the surrounding paper. But Ian. <laughs> What I will say is this. Anyone who got the whole lot through the toilet seat, mm -hmm. I'm going to give a bonus point. Right. Well, that is just Joe Thomas. All right. He is the only man who got it through, and the only woman. <laughs> but in terms of the timings, Paul was the slowest with 13 minutes. One point to Paul. Sean got five minutes. Yep. Two points. All right. Joe Thomas, one minute 38, but a bonus point, so four points. Lou, one minute 19, four points. Ian was the quickest with his one minute and four seconds. There you go, Thank controversial, you. but that's it for five points. <laughs> right, scoreboard update, please, Alex. Unfortunately, Paul is adrift with two points, but in the lead, we have Joe Thomas with eight points. Hey! <laughs> and the series scoreboard, I'll quickly run you through that. At the top, we have Lou with 67, then Ian with 56, Sean with 55, Joe with 50, and Paul, 42. <laughs> Do you have another uh, task find up, Alex? Yes, I do, and this one is extremely childish. Oh! <laughs> Hello. Hello, Paul Sinner. Potty. If you need it. <laughs> OK, make the best thing to engage a toddler. The toddler will have five minutes with your thing. Most engaged toddler wins. You have 30 minutes. Your time starts now. Like the pun. Which pun's that, Paul? Engaged, meaning on the toilet. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> OK, 
I'm gonna go and have a little route around to see if what I can right. find. Okay. I'll see you in a minute. Hello. Oh, you've got, you've got freckles. So, yeah. Where am I engaging the toddler? The toddler will go into a room and find your thing. What age is the toddler? Because I'm thinking this might be, this might be a bit heavy <laughs> I'm just making it comfy. That's cute. Do you think that looks sinister? <laughs> if I was a child and I got this on my hands, I think I'd be quite distressed. I'd want to get it off. 100% of this is attached to my hand. What rhymes with ducky? <laughs> <laughs> Not that. <laughs> Hello, Alex. You've been out of the room for 25 minutes. Has it been that long? Wow, the doesn't time fly? Let's march! Kick! Kick! Move to the side. Move to the side. Do you know what it needs? A tongue. Taste buds. Taste buds. All toddlers like baths uh, and bath toys. And so a family of duck chicks is under attack from a vicious thresher shark. <laughs> but to fully engage a toddler, need audio stimulation. So... <laughs> Bubbles, duck, shark, quacking. But it's not just ducks, it's the existential terror of a mother duck having her brood taken away from her by politically bloodthirsty fish. I will make that clear to the toddler. Thank yeah. you, Paul. Thank you. Good. Well, I'll just answer a quick question. Is hanging a rubber duck by its neck sinister? Yes, it is. It is. <laughs> that is sinister. Now, I, you wouldn't mind me saying that you're the only mum uh, of the contestants. So I better do well. Yeah. yeah. Gut instinct tells me, do they want a pretty princess with freckles dancing, or do they want the existential terror of a shark attack? <laughs> <laughs> OK, we're going to see them one by one, if that's all right, Greg. <laughs> yes, please. We're going to start off with Joe Thomas, who made uh, a squishy toy, which he's called Joe Doe. <laughs> Hello, Nell. Come in. Joe, put that there for you. <laughs> Are you going to touch the red one as well, Nell? Yeah. yeah? Do you want to pick one up? That one. Which one? The blue one? Do you want me to get it out? Yeah. OK. It's called Jodo. Can you say Jodo? Jodo. Jodo, that's right. Is Jodo good? Good. Jodo's good, OK. How good? One, two, three, four or five? <laughs> five. Five. What do you like about it now? OK, thank you. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> oh, it's the, it's the sweetest thing we've ever done. <laughs> Joe, please that? Yeah, she seemed pretty happy. Yeah. I don't know whether that was really connected to the dough. I think she was just a ha happy child. <laughs> no, the truth is, I think that she was fully engaged with your Joe dough. OK. And oh. I think, um,. You know, I've often seen you during this series look like there's nothing to live for, <laughs> and I think surely you must take some. Uh... That's actually. It was. I was very pleased that she sort of seemed to be a bit diverted by it. She did. Yeah. Who's next? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next, we're going to see uh, children's TV star Ian Sterling's creation. Ooh, the pressure's on. Here's how our toddler got on with his puppet called Claire. Hello, Nell. Do you want to come in? Hello. My name's Claire. Be engaged. <laughs> Hello. I'm Claire. Do you want to give me a high five? Yeah. Cool. Again. Again? Yeah. Really? <laughs> Hello. Hello. My name's Claire. Are you engaged? Yeah? My name's Claire. Be engaged. Got the bubble wrap. 
Goodbye now. Bye bye. Bye bye. I wonder if I walk past Claire uh, and someone hadn't said to me, there's Claire the puppet, if I would have just thought it was a load of old rubbish and just dead, dead, <laughs> cruelly into a thing. But with Alex's help, the, the toddler was engaged. I mean, they, they were all part of Claire. The instructions, what I did was all part of... High, the did, high five. Did he say give her a high five? Yeah. He definitely did. Well, he provided a fly swat to do the high five. And he said, allow the child to rip the arm off. I did wrap Claire in the... Bubble wrap. thing. Bubble, bubble wrap. wrap, that's the word. D deliberate, Flesh. because you wanted some Because tactile. kids love that, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> That's what toddlers... Beatboxing again. Mm. Bebop. Yeah, all right, Ian. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it wasn't bad. Well, it looked like a pile of old rubbish, yes. but it did engage the child. <laughs> and that takes us to the halfway point in tonight's show. You have adverts for your half-time entertainment, and we have Alex Horn belly dancing. Take it away, Alex, and we'll see you soon. <laughs> Thank you, adverts. I really should buy some of those products. Alex, wasn't there a new person involved in the task before the break? Someone about your height? Mm. <laughs> there is a new person, but she is substantially smaller than me because I'm a tall man. But yes, there is a toddler trying out the engaging things our contestants have made for her. And this time, it's Fairy Shan's workout video. Hello. Oh, hello. That's Fairy Sean. Do you want to do what she says? Again. Let's march! Are you going to do what she says? Feel that stretch, guys. Feel that stretch. Stretch those fingers. What would you give Fairy Sean out of five? One, two, three, four, or five? Again. Again? You've heard it enough. No? Three? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Goodbye. Still watching. In the one clip we saw, you did look maybe a bit pissed. <laughs> <laughs> but that, it was engagement, wasn't it? I mean, your immediate instinct was put an iPad in there. Yeah. And she was fully engaged. And Good she mother, took, you see. She took it with her. Give a child an iPad. Yeah. Drunk dancing princess. <laughs> Tick. Um, great. Who's next? OK, uh, it's Lucky Ducky time. Lou Sanders. Oh, God. I don't know. You can use that if you want. You're going to hit the duck. That's the noise of the Lucky Ducky song. Here's the ducky, here's the ducky on the head. Oh, you've opened it. That's the end of the song. Hmm. OK, can I have the mallet back, please? Goodbye. Hmm. Bye bye. It never occurred to me I'd have to make a moral judgment. I mean, the child was engaged. The child was engaged in hitting an animal with a hammer. <laughs> Here, the ducky on the head. <laughs> also, there were sweets inside, and I don't think you really guided her. It was supposed to be like a pinata. Well, although you call it a pinochet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 because I'm French, half French. I mean, she enjoyed the, uh, hitting the ducky, but, yeah, she didn't spot the sweets because I don't think there was anything guiding her to it. She did look in at the sweets at the end. And yeah, then, she had... And she then she thought, I don't want to be part of any of this. <laughs> I don't want to be part no, of the um, butchery of this she wild... Allowed, she didn't think she, she was allowed sweets because she looked in and hinted and went, oh, sweets, and then, like, went, bye now. <laughs> <laughs> but the po point is, she had a lovely time and she didn't even have any sweets. <laughs> Finally, then, we've got one more person to see. Yep. It's time for Paul's Baking Tray Ecosystem. 
Hello, Nell. It's a bit messy. The threshing shark has fallen out. Yes, the ecosystem has deteriorated. Do you want to put them all back in the ecosystem? Yeah. OK. That's Mummy and Daddy. Mummy. Mummy, OK. Mummy, Daddy and the threshing shark. Do you like the duck ecosystem? Yeah. Do you think it's just some plastic ducks in a baking tray? Yeah. Mm. What would you give it out of five? Five, OK. Thank you, Nell. Goodbye. OK, now you can go now. No, go. You want to stay here forever? Yeah. With the ducks and the threshing shark? Shall I go? Yeah. OK. <laughs> Goodbye. I'm not sure that Nell was 100% on top of the, your narrative. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't seem perturbed by the thresh thresher shark. Sorry, Paul, sorry, Paul. She knows a thresher shark when she sees one. But, she, but she had maternalistic instincts towards the duck. Yes. I think she, she's a David Attenborough in disguise. She's... Only about five minutes ago, she'd been smashing one around the head with a mallet. <laughs> <laughs> it just shows how you can re-educate a young mind like that, isn't it? <laughs> Be afraid of the shark. Don't attack the duck. She seemed engaged. She was fully engaged, Paul. I'm absolutely gobsmacked. <laughs> OK, here we go. Right, you, re sorry. you ready for some points? Yes, I'm ready for some points. I'm not going to give anyone one point, because I thought they were all very good. I'm not going to give anyone two points, because I think they were all better than that. Oh. Are you going to give anyone three points? Yes. All right, OK. I'm <laughs> purely based on my gut instinct about which thing engaged the child the most, I'm going to give Lou three points. Ian and Joe, four points. Sean and Paul, unbelievably, five points. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. More! I want more, and you're going to give me more. I am, and you love ham. You love ham hock, you love haddock, so I'm giving you a hammock. Here we go. <laughs> OK. Good luck. Come on. Ow! <laughs> Put the most weight in the hammock without anything falling out of the hammock. If anything falls out of the hammock, you're disqualified. Most weight in the hammock after ten minutes wins. Right, put stuff in, but then Last we Last line, please, Lou. Ah? Last line. Yeah, your time starts now. Thank you. Let's go. Should we discuss it before we say your time starts you must... now? Oh, you've just Good said idea. your time starts now. I've, I've started the clock. Oh, well, well time uh, starts now. Right. Very good. Pretty mm -hmm. straightforward. Yep, most weight in the hammock. If anything falls out of the hammock, you're disqualified. Simple. Uh, OK, first of all, the team of three, Lou, Paul and Ian. And I was just thinking, isn't it nice when people just get along? <laughs> <laughs> this is the obvious choice. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, get Game this in first. If we, We've if, got ten minutes. No, but if it falls out of the hammock... We'll put this underneath it. No, underneath. no, wait, 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 wait. Just calm down. We're going to put this under the hammock to support the hammock. <laughs> How is that going to stop stuff I'm quietly out of the confident, hammock? actually. <laughs> Ian, how is that going to stop things falling out of the hammock? It isn't. It isn't. Right. Right, should we get some stuff, heavy stuff? Hang on, wait, wait, wait. How much do you weigh? Ian! What does that matter? Because we all get in the hammock, it's obvious. Yeah, but why do we... We get, in, we get the stuff in the hammock. We are heavier than anything we can but find. But we can hold that as well. Because it'll fall out and then we'll Let's be disqualified. Oh, uh, yes. But don't get in it. So what do you want me to do then? OK, just calm down. I went to get some stuff oh. and you said to come and get in the hammock. Oh, everyone, so what do I do? Can we just have a meeting, please? I was just going to get some heavy stuff. We can bring it here and make a, then make a plan. Look, we're going to weigh more than things. That's all I'm thinking. Do you think we can fit three people and heavy stuff on the hammock I don't think we can fit three. I think, I think we've got the people and the heavy hammock. We can then come we to need, that we conclusion. Need somebody, we There's need no somebody point to bring hypothetically heavy stuff. thinking of that thing now with nothing around us. Let's I'm going to go get some heavy stuff. OK. That's quite heavy. Yes, it's good, isn't it? 
get some bricks. Brick. Some okay, bricks. there you go. I'd like to apologise for my behaviour. I just thought we shouldn't panic. I agree, which Sorry. is why I suggested doing all of this oh. seven minutes ago. Uh, okay. Do you want to pop in your position, babe? Right, I'm getting in. Lou, you hold me steady. Paul, start loading in things. Lord, oh, that is heavy. Oh, that is heavy. One minute left. Uh, maybe ball and ball? Oh, We've probably not got enough heavy stuff. Should have got more. And now you're not... I mean, your job... Your job was quite literally to hold the hammock. Now there's no-one holding the hammock. Literally nobody okay. holding the hammock. Don't worry, baby, I'm here 35 for you. 35 seconds. Maybe get, go and get yeah. some lighter stuff. And hold me steady, Paul. I'm going... Yeah, go on, chuck it in. Maybe don't put it all on the one side. Don't put it all on the one side, Lou. Thank you, guys. I'm so sorry. Such a little bossy boot, certainly. That, that wasn't pleasant for me to watch. <laughs> but it's not all about fun, so let's drill down into <laughs> it. <laughs> we had spent a good seven minutes... Not seven. That, that's the number you made up. <laughs> I said that in a quite a petulant manner. Yes, that's why I suggested it. Seven minutes. <laughs> yeah, so... Thank God Daddy was there, watching on from behind the barrel. <laughs> In my defence, I came up with the idea that we actually had to put the things on the hammock in the last minute, otherwise yeah. they would fall out. Oh, if it wasn't for Paul Sinner, it would have been me and Lou in a hammock screaming at each other. <laughs> <laughs> Just so I like it. <laughs> you actually did that thing that um, small children do at one point. You went, please, uh... <laughs> <laughs> That has upset me. Yeah. No end. <laughs> That well, is a horrible insight. You know, as the barrel dads will tell you, these kids have got to make their own mistakes. <laughs> Do you want to give me some stats or something? Yeah, well, they got a lot in. Uh, at the end of the ten minutes, they had nine bricks, a wooden column, an olive press, a bowling ball, a jerry can, a washing can, two plastic trays, a steel drum, three books, and an Ian Sterling. So that's 89.1 kg, which is 14 stone, which is an Alex Horn or three Dalmatians or two toilets or a reindeer. <laughs> 81 kg? 89.1 kg plus an Ian Sterling. I don't know how much Ian weighs. Oh, you haven't found that out? Uh, no. Okay. It's hard to sneakily weigh people. <laughs> <laughs> Only one more part to go until someone wins a BMX and a fake beard. See that happen in part four. <laughs> Hello, and Welcome back to the last part of the show. Weren't we in the midst of a team task? Yes, and we're breaking new boundaries because this one involves a hammock. <gasps> mm. Now it's time for Mrs G and Mr T. Is so, that? oh, get the bath. I assume it's going to be unloaded and weighed. Gonna is that going to Is that going to happen? That's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. Oh, I think it might break the hammock. <laughs> I think this might break the hammock. Should we get that out? Yeah. Oh, okay. Hold on a minute. Are we... Can't we unplug the hammock and just put the hammock back on the floor? <laughs> I like this is... You got it off? Yeah. Right. Good. Uh, Round the arc. Okay. Yeah. So you're saying that bath is in the hammock? Yeah. Yeah. Two of them. Two of them. Oh, Joe! Are we, are we putting that in the hammock? In a way, I think that, that strengthens our argument that it's still a hammock, actually. Yeah. Uh, hammock in the hammock. It's not... It is touching the ground as well, but... Well, it was touching the ground when it was It was, was touching hammock. the ground before. <laughs> now, Marilyn. I'm just going to land on yeah. this. Yes, OK. Here. There's a tyre. Tyre, that'll do. OK. OK. Ta-da! Brilliant. Thanks, guys. Thank okay. you. I'll weigh everything now. I think we did all right, though. There was certainly some lovely, friendly behaviour going on there, which is to be commended. Teamwork. Thanks. Yeah. Now, was there anything in a hammock there? Everything. What's the difference between on and in? Well... <laughs> well Nothing. <laughs> I don't know. If you, were, if you were in a field, you'd also be on a field. In can describe something... The situation of something that is or appears to be enclosed or surrounded by something else. And it was surrounded by... Yes. All right, I'm going to allow it. It, it. They were in a hammock. But was it was it a hammock? Well, yes. Yes. It well, was. It, well, yeah. Well, a hammock has to be suspended from two things, apparently. Where would you get this definition from? Uh, Google Maps. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you if you were going to order a 
hammock <laughs> online now. Yeah. It would arrive in a box. It would. It's still a hammock. I, I think it's stretching it to say that's fully a hammock. I would like to have seen it suspended, so I would have to dock something okay. for the fact that <laughs> it's not been suspended. But I, outside of that, it's valid. The only problem we've got, as far as I can see, is we don't know what sort of kg that Ian Sterling's packing. <laughs> right, well, although there is another problem with their attempt. Is there? I did spot something. OK. Do you want to have a look? Yeah. Go run quick. <laughs> yeah, go on, chuck it in. It's go on. Maybe don't put it all on one side. I caught it. I caught it. You didn't catch it. I caught it. I caught it. I caught it. Mm, you... <laughs> I caught I'll tell you what, I don't need to make a judgment here. Is there any way of playing it again? Not the very last two seconds. I just want you to watch Lou Sander's eyes, <laughs> and this is how I know I haven't got to make a judgment. <laughs> Saying the team of three was definitely disqualified. I'm afraid so. Stop zero points for Not the team zero. of three. Not zero. I caught the no, book. I'm afraid so. It was very clear in the rules. I'm going to give Sean and Joe uh, three points each. What? I think it's a lovely decision. Thank you. Sean and Joe get three points each. <laughs> Could we perhaps have a score update before the final task? Yes. Paul solid on seven. Ian and Lou on ten. We have two leaders though. Joe and Sean both on fifteen points. <laughs> Clear off, all of you, and make your way to the stage for the final task of the show! <laughs> hi, contestants. Hi, Alex. Oh, hi, Greg. What's the final task? Uh, I'm going to ask Lou Sanders to reveal the oh, wording. Oh, nice. That... OK. Um, choose a hoop that you think you can throw a frying pan into. Choose a distance from which you can throw a frying pan into that hoop. If you choose the big hoop, you have one attempt. If you choose the medium hoop, you have two attempts. If you choose the small hoop, you have three attempts. The person who throws most of their frying pan into the hoop from the longest distance wins. Okay. Pretty straightforward stuff. So the person in the lead is going to place their hoop first. On this case, it is Joe, Joe. and Sean. So, Joe, you, as the gentleman, will go first. OK, yeah. Pick the, rightly so. That's the phrase, isn't it? Gentleman's first. Pick a hoop and place it. He's going I'm going to go for the middle one. Middle that hoop. seems like a... Uh, just, I don't know. Haven't done this before. Uh, can we get Sean to place a hoop, please? Choose a hoop and place it. I'm going middle. Good. You know, average. Are you going beyond or before, Joe? What? Are we going for a draw? You put it ex exactly <laughs> the same as Joe. That's, that's the sort of teamwork that got them points in the bath task. It's lovely. Next up, Ian, please. Again, middle. Who's going to put the head of the parapet with a small one? I, I think I know who. I mean, these are all ambitious oh. placings. So far, it looks like the first bit of a really shit Olympics opening ceremony. <laughs> <laughs> Lou, up next. I, I played this game at school, actually. <laughs> One hoop from a weighty distance. Big okay. hoop, big distance. Finally, Paul Sinha. <laughs> Lovely stuff. <laughs> Lovely stuff. I love that. It's quite clever, because if no-one else lands a pan, Paul wins, right? If no-one lands a pan, Paul wins. We've always said that. Yeah. So... <laughs> <laughs> so it is the closest hoop that goes first. That's you, Paul. Paul's going to land a pan in that. Go on, Paul. Good luck, Paul. <laughs> Most of the frying pan is in the hoop. You may sit on the bench successfully. That's got to feel good, Paul. Next up, purple to throw. Two attempts. Two attempts. Right. I'll retrieve it if you miss with the first. Oh. I win! <laughs> <laughs> but you, that, you've got your eye in there, right? I mean, it landed in it. Mm. I don't it really must... know what you're supposed to do. You want to get most of the pan into your hoop? <laughs> Lovely. Oh. Get in! <laughs> <laughs> Next up, Sean Gibson's throw. You have two attempts. Long time since we've seen Gibson in the arena. <laughs> <laughs> no. I, I, I get it. It's, you have to... I'm going for a side one. <laughs> Oh. 
Next to throw is Green. Ian Sterling. Oh, the cocky young puppy. <laughs> Let's see if his pan throwing lives up to his attitude. I, 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 you want that one back? I get you. I'm like one of those tennis players. Like... <laughs> that's, that's his lucky. <laughs> that's his lucky pan. Thank God we've got such a good pan boy. <laughs> <laughs> He's sweating, mate. <laughs> pan on. Oh! <laughs> Do you want to check the pan, Greg? Of course not. <laughs> She has one throw, it's a large hoop. If this misses, Paul Sinha wins. But what if it goes in? Imagine. <laughs> Good luck, Lou. In imagine if it does go in. Oh, my God. Go on, Lou. Pan hoop history. I, <laughs> I have never seen a gameplay like that. Right, well, come down, we'll work out what that does to the final scores. <laughs> that was a pretty sport defining moment, I would say, for Pan Hoop. Mm, it was harrowing and wonderful. What's it done to the scores? Well, the individual scores for that game were zero points to Ian, zero to Sean, zero to Joe. Paul, four points for his tactical. <laughs> but the Pan Hoop champion 2019, without a doubt, is Lou Sanders. Lou Sanders. <laughs> and it means we have. A three-way tie at the top. Lou, Joe and Sean all have 15 points. Oh, my God. How are we going to find out a winner? With an encore, which is, of course, French for tie-break. And for this tie-break, they had to stand behind a line, whip a bottle off a barrel. The fastest to whip the bottle off the barrel wins. Got it? Yes. OK, so here they all are doing the whip tie-break. Time starts now. Hey, hey. Oh, close. Please with yourself. Terry. Like Dolly Parton. Three whips, bottle down. Yes. <laughs> yes, it was. And the scores are pretty clear cut. 52 seconds, Lou. 50.3 seconds, Joe. But 9.4 seconds to the winner of the show. <laughs> Sean Gibson! <laughs> Sean Gibson is the winner of tonight's episode. Excellent work. Please go and get me a doctor's order. So, what have we learned today? We've learned that parenting is easy. Dazzle them with bright colours, interesting textures, and teach them about the brutal, indiscriminate slaughter of animals. But <laughs> the big news was that Sean Gibson won the show. What a victory. What a person. What a night. What a goodbye. Goodbye! <laughs>